Hey everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be another full face of makeup I forgot about. I have filmed several of these for my channel now, and I love filming these because it is so fun to go through my makeup collection and pick out products that I haven't used in forever, or that I haven't ever used because I forget about things and I just, there, there's too much, there is too much, so this helps me try out products in my collection that I haven't tried out in quite a while and they're just super fun and you guys seem to enjoy these videos as well. I highly recommend doing this yourself if you feel like you have a bit of makeup that you are neglecting. It is fun to purposefully, you know, use products that aren't your everyday go-to's. By the way, I wanted to mention a couple of things really quick. I know you can't really see it, but I have a super cute shirt on. It says, good vibes only, and my lovely friend Kristen from J Sky Lasting Creations made this shirt for me, and I highly recommend you guys go check her out. I love her work so much. Her website will be linked down below. She is a part of my Twitch fam. I love her. Also, I mentioned in my most recent PR haul that I got this tumbler sent to me, and I had a lot of questions on it, and I realized I completely forgot to put her information in the description box, so I wanted to mention it again. And she doesn't have a website listed on here, but she does have an Instagram. And her Instagram is her Lux Designs with two X's. I will have her info in the description box of this video, but she made me this super cute tumbler that has my name on it, and it's adorable. I know you guys were interested, so I wanted to give that another shout out. Back to the subject at hand, I have all of my products that I will be using today in this basket here. I am really excited. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. The first product that I'm going in with is from the brand Pure, or Pure. Pure? <laughs> I feel like I say that weird. Pure or Pure? <laughs> <laughs> P-U-R, pure, I don't know. This is their four-in-one correcting primer. I believe that I got this in a BoxyCharm because I know I definitely didn't purchase this myself, but I have never tried it. I'm pretty sure, yep, it still has the seal on here, um, but it says energize and rescue with aloe, coconut water, and probiotics, and it says that it is silicone free. So we're gonna try this out for the first time today. The packaging is cute. It has sort of like an iridescent sheen to it that's really pretty. Ooh, I like the texture already. It looks like a nice lightweight, like gelish cream texture. I don't think it really has much of a scent, but it definitely feels very nice. It's quite thin, which is interesting. I honestly haven't tried a lot of products from this brand, but I actually did purchase their foundation. This is the 4-in-1 Love Yourself Foundation when uh, Brittany Raquel and I switched favorites so I have tried this um, but other than this I don't know that I've ever tried anything from their brand so moving on to a foundation I'm gonna use one that I have not used in so long and I am so mad at myself because this is so expensive I have no idea if the shade is gonna work for me so we might have to like mix things around a bit but this is from Natasha Denona do they even make this anymore I honestly don't know this is the transfer matte pore vanishing matte foundation I have it in the shade 22w light Hopefully it matches me. If not, I'm going to be very sad. Um, <sighs> this is like, oh, oh my, oh my, that is not good. That is not good. Oh! <laughs> that, <laughs> this just like, oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. I think I got down to regular product. We are good. Um, let's see. I feel like this is going to be way too light. Mm, um, it looks really light compared to the redness on my face, but honestly, I might be able to make this work. I'm using my Stands Out Beauty Sponge. I have been loving this recently. It has been taking the place of my all-time favorite sponge, which is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge but I love that you don't have to wet this one. So the foundation is looking all right. I definitely wish that I had it in a little bit of a darker shade, but it doesn't look bad. I wonder if it has the claims on here other than it being matte. Oh, I found it. So this is a $45 foundation. Um, let's see, it is supposed to be full coverage, 
for combo oily skin matte finish medium to full coverage I would say that's true um, I kind of like went a little bit lighter handed with it just because it isn't exactly my shade so um, but it actually doesn't look too bad I really like it I like the coverage that I'm getting I like the finish it has a little bit of a sheen like teeny tiny bit but it's definitely a matte foundation for concealer I'm going in with this one from makeup revolution this is the conceal and define infinite I don't know if I've used this before or not, but it is their long wear concealer, crease, poo <laughs> crease proof with niacinamide in it, and I have it in the shade C6. I love their regular uh, Conceal and Define concealer, but this is like a big one, and I guess the, the uh, mm, formula is slightly different. I don't honestly know what the difference is, <laughs> but... I feel like I really like this color. Ooh, it looks so bright on camera. I think I kind of used a little bit too much, maybe. <laughs> maybe just a little bit. So how is everybody doing today? I would love if you guys could comment down below something good, whatever it is, whether something good happened to you, you're excited about something, just leave me a comment down below with something good. Dang, that concealer, very, very full coverage. I really, really like that. All right, so for powder, I'm actually using a powder that I recall not liking. This is from Kylie Cosmetics. This is the Loose Illuminating Powder. And is this a setting powder? Uh, I thought this was a setting powder. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe I should use something different. Sorry for the tease. I'm gonna go pick something different because I did not realize there's like actual like glitter in here. All right, this powder is from Ciate. This is the Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I have never used this before. I got this in a boxy charm, so this will be fun to try. All right, so I'm gonna take this powder and set my under eye with this sponge. I always get nervous when I try new translucent powders after trying that Flower Beauty one. I don't know if you guys remember that. If you do, comment down below <laughs> and let me know because that was a train wreck. It was like the weirdest experience I've ever had with a powder and I just, I'm always afraid something like that's going to happen to me again. It definitely has a little bit of a coconut fragrance and I know I'm using a lot of powder. <laughs> that's just how I am in case y'all are new here. Also, I do feel like that foundation oxidized a bit, which is perfectly fine with me because it honestly is a really good shade match. This powder smells so good and I love the packaging, so I have high hopes for this. <laughs> Those are the reasons why I have high hopes. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I'm just gonna take a little bit extra powder and finish dusting off the rest of my face. Let's see. Is there still a white cast? All right, our face is looking good. Definitely looking very dry and matte, which is to be expected. So we will definitely have to compensate with some setting spray. I do feel as though it left a bit of a white cast on my face. I'm not sure how well it's going to pick up on camera, but I definitely feel like I can almost see the translucent powder. So we'll see how it looks at the end, but I am gonna go ahead <laughs> and spray my face with setting spray because my face is quenched. Wait, not quenched. It needs to be quenched, right? Now that my face is soaking wet, I'm gonna use this fan that I got from Amazon because of Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> I plan on filming an updated or like a part two of Jaclyn Hill made me buy it. I have an entire list on my phone. Um, so that video should be coming pretty soon and this will definitely be there. I just got this in the mail yesterday so this is my first time using it and it feels so good. Also I found out that it's also like a charging like power bank so the fan like detaches and you can use this to charge your phone or like your switch or whatever device uses a USB so yeah thought that was pretty cool <laughs> and it also folds up so it's pretty compact but I like using the handle <laughs> moving on to bronzer I'm a little bit nervous because I'm gonna be using some products that are really old I really need to get rid of these <laughs> these are so old the packaging dates them they have updated their packaging so long ago and 
So yeah, I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I wasn't sure which one to use. Um, I don't know which color I prefer now, but I used to way prefer the Milk Chocolate Soleil. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of a color difference. So, hmm, I think I'm gonna try the regular Chocolate Soleil and see how it goes. I have not used a Too Faced bronzer in I don't know how long. Okay, so I definitely went way too heavy handed with this. I totally should have gotten milk chocolate. <laughs> this is really intense for me. So I just have been sitting here with my fan on, <laughs> buffing away at this bronzer because it's a little bit much. <laughs> So yeah, it's time for me to get rid of those anyway. I finally come to terms with it. I got rid of most of them, but I think I kept like three. So it's time for me to get rid of these Too Faced bronzers. <laughs> Maybe I will one day repurchase the Milk Chocolate Soleil in the new packaging, but I, uh, we all know I don't need another bronzer. For blush, I'm going in with this Wet n Wild Color Icon blush. This is in the shade Pearlescent Pink. I used to love this blush and just this formula in general. I think I have like six different shades. So I'm just gonna take, uh, this is an F14 from Bling Brushes and pop this on the cheeks. I love peachy blush as I'm sure you all know. And this is a very affordable drugstore option. Ooh, that is so pretty. It is gorgeous, however, I don't love the formula enough to like I, this is making me realize I need to declutter again, even though I literally just did. But I have all of these shades, but I don't need, I don't love the formula enough to have every single shade that they own, um, or that they have. Jeez. Oh, I don't love the formula enough to own every single shade that they have. There we go. But this one is really nice. I really do like this one because I love the color. And the formula is great for drugstore. Um, so yeah. Or less in pink. It's more of a peach, but we get it. I went ahead and did my brows off camera, but I just used the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and the 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is like my go-to brow combo at the moment. Super easy, super quick. I love it. For eyeshadow, I'm really excited because I'm gonna be playing with the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. I used this quite a few times when I first got it, but I have not used this in like months. It is such a beautiful palette and I saw it in my drawer and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna use that today. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my MAC Paint Pot and I will be right back. The first shade that I'm going in with is called Royal Jewels and it's this gorgeous matte color. And I'm gonna take that on an E12 and just run this all the way through my crease. I'm gonna try to keep it more of a rounded shape. I always say this, I'm always like, I'm gonna try to do more of a rounded eyeshadow look today, but then I always like wing it out at the end. But I'm gonna try to specifically not do that because I feel like my eyeshadow looks, the shape of them is just getting kind of repetitive for me. So I'm gonna try something different. ColourPop eyeshadows are seriously some of the best out there. And for the price, you cannot beat them. Next, I'm gonna take an E13, which is a slightly smaller blending brush. And I'm gonna go in with You're a Gem, which is this matte kind of orangey color. It's so pretty. And I don't know, I was kind of inspired by like, the colors in my shirt, except for the blue. Maybe, mm, I don't know. I don't really know where I'm taking this. We're just winging it as always, but I'm just gonna put that in my crease as well, keeping it a bit lower than the first shade. I'm actually exporting a video right now. I am uh, actually starting a new YouTube channel. I know not everybody is going to be interested in it, but if you didn't know, I stream video games on Twitch like many days a week and it's so much fun, so I thought I would make a gaming channel to post like cut down edited versions of my live streams or compilations or things like that um, for the people that aren't able to make it to the live stream. So I will have that linked down below. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call it. For now it's called Page Corin Gaming, which is like kind of boring, but I just don't know what else to call it. So yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're interested, I would really, really appreciate it if you checked it out. I'm taking that shade, You're a Gem, and I'm just tapping this in that outer corner as well. I am gonna deepen this up with another shade in a second, but I'm really liking what we've got going on so far. Next, I'm going in with the shade 
carnelian i think that's how you pronounce it and it is this deeper matte orangey color this is so pretty and i'm just gonna tap this right in that outer corner i've been loving the idea of orange eyeshadow again recently i did a look with the jaclyn hill volume 2 palette it was my palette bingo and i did sort of like a yellowy orange look and Ever since then, I've been like wanting to play with orange eyeshadow more. I don't know, I just feel like it's really fun. And I usually, when I do like a warm toned look, I usually go more pink. <laughs> um, so, I don't know. I just felt like playing with orange eyeshadow would be fun. I don't know why. I am sweating so bad. I'm gonna have to check the thermostat. The thermostat says that it's 72. It feels a lot hotter than 72. I don't know if it's just like my lights, but I'm having throwbacks to filming <laughs> at my parents' house and sweating every single video and having to wet washcloths and put them on my legs because that was like the only way I could cool myself down. Okay, I am loving the look now. This, I don't know if this is gonna look good or not. It might look absolutely horrible, but I'm going to take an E5. I just need to clean it off really quick. And I'm gonna take the shade Citrine, which is this like yellowy kind of, I don't know what kind of color this is. It's like a muted yellowish color. <laughs> And I'm gonna take that and I'm actually going to pack this on the lid and kind of keeping it towards that inner corner, but I am gonna blend it into those orange shades that we used. So far, so good. I'm gonna take the shade Your Gem and just run this along my lower lash line just to get some color down there because the eye is looking very top heavy. <laughs> So I'm just going to take that shade and just kind of messily like smoke out my under eye. Next, for the eye, I really want to use this shade called Topaz. It is a pressed glitter. I just don't know where to put it. Like, I, I want to put it on the lid, but I also don't want to completely cover up that yellow color. So I may, might take a more detailed brush. This is an E16. And I might just like kind of put this on that inner corner not the inner corner but like this little inner part of my lid I'm just hopefully this looks good I don't know this glitter is so pretty I can't tell if I like this like I feel like I need to bring it farther the glitter so it is gonna kind of cover up that yellow but you can still see it through the glitter which I like but I just feel like it needs to be brought out a little bit farther. Sorry I wasn't paying attention and my camera cut me off. Uh, but I was just saying that this glitter is actually really easy to work with. So I really like that. And there's not a ton of fallout. There's some, but not a ton. I'm going to go ahead and put on mascara and lashes and I will be right back. I am back with the finished eye look. I went in with the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. This is the best mascara ever. And it's actually on sale right now, or at least it was yesterday because I bought it. Um, but normally this is $30, but it's actually 20% off on their website. So I highly recommend checking it out now if you've been, uh, you know, interested in it because it's like six bucks off and it's still a lot of money for mascara but it is oh my it is so worth it and then i went in with g star lashes in the style camella these are like my favorite lashes i seriously love camella so much like they're they're natural yet still glam and there's just something about them that i freaking love you can use code page for 20 percent off your g star lashes purchase but Camella, there's some, something about them. They're so pretty. So now for a highlighter. I actually have a highlighter that I have not used in like ages. This is from Becca. This is the highlighter in the shade Opal. This is my first highlighter ever from them. I have hit pan on it, which does not happen very often. Um, and I just, I just love me some Opal. So I'm going to go ahead and 
put some on i have not worn this in so long this is seriously really old it probably needs to be replaced but this is like a nostalgic <laughs> highlighter for me all right and then for lips i have this lipstick from mac this is in the shade honey love i bought this not too long ago i mean it was a while ago i remember purchasing it from disney springs the mac store in disney springs um <sighs> smells so good. MAC lipsticks smell so freaking good. I don't know if this lip is going to look good with this eye look, but hopefully. <gasps> oh my gosh. That was a very loud vehicle. This lipstick is seriously so pretty. Like, it's so much prettier than I expected. I don't know why I don't use this more. This is going immediately into my everyday makeup drawer. Like, I'm just going to stick that in there right now. This is, again, in the shade Honey Love. It is a matte finish lipstick. I love this. And it looks great with the eye look. It's kind of like a nude with, like, a little bit of a peachy pink to it. I love I, I'm just like I'm in shock right now like how I've had this for so long and didn't even realize how actually pretty it looked on the lips all right you guys this is the finished look my camera battery is about to die so it may cut me off my hair like doesn't even know what to do <laughs> it looks so crazy because I haven't parted it like this in so long um, but overall I freaking love the way that this makeup look turned out the primer I feel like is really nice the foundation is all right it, there's just nothing that can beat my Belief Beauty foundation, or at least I haven't found anything yet. And the fact that that is $5 and this Natasha Denona one is $45, it just, it doesn't make sense. Like, I could buy nine of the Belief Beauty foundations for the price of one <laughs> of the Natasha Denona. Um, I feel like the powder is nice. The bronzer needs to go. The blush is beautiful. The highlighter is beautiful. I love the way the eyes turned out. Obviously, I love the lashes, and I was very pleasantly surprised by the lipstick. So, overall, I am so, 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 so happy with everything. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!